Hey everyone and welcome to another video and another home theatre update video. So I believe this will be video number 7. Even though this is not done in the actual days, uh, essentially this is day 7 in terms of work or update videos. So I believe the last update that we got to was when the Atmos speakers were installed. As you can see the Atmos speakers did go in. Uh, there's still a little bit of tidy up work to do around them but since then what I've done is I've finished up a lot of the uh, sort of panelling, the acoustic panelling all around so all the condu conduits have been run down there and the other big change since then is basically to a lot of what you see here now so let me just kill this light so you might be able to see a bit better but essentially what what what's happened is the sub's been rotated onto its side. Um, the media console has been pushed into that corner. I have left a little bit of a gap because I didn't want it right into the corner. And the Marantz and the Hisense have now been separated quite a bit because of that. So we, we do have a bigger gap between the two of those. So no issues with heat now. Um, heat in the room itself is still quite high. So that's something that we'll need to look into. The sub is now able to breathe a little easier and it actually performs a lot better this way as well. Um, one thing you've probably already noticed is the fact that the seating's changed a little. So this back seating I've actually installed much higher legs on it now so I can't remember the exact size of these but basically the previous ones were like that big compared to these ones which are probably about twice if not three times the the height so that means if I just sit down here this is eye level for me if I try and get this level so as you can see somebody sat right at the back here will actually be able to see over the heads of whoever sat here and essentially what we've done for now with these is this is two two sofas and we've basically it falls down so we've literally just pushed two of them together and created one larger sofa where we can actually relax and watch watch movies and everything so at the moment this is sufficient for all of us because we can easily fit three people at the back and then uh, two people or three people here as well. If we needed to we can still fold this up and just shuffle these around But at the moment we're just leaving it like this plus it's, it's a bit easier for me because I'm, I was still doing some work around the sides as well Paneling if we just take a look so acoustic has been done on this wall completely So even around all the bottom sections down there um, The only piece that is missing is that one up there so you might just be able to see there is one tiny little piece left over there. So I will fill that in once all the sort of cutouts and everything are done. The reason I was waiting was because I was contemplating moving the side speakers uh, back a bit because originally I didn't actually read up fully on Dolby spec and according to Dolby spec your side speakers should be either level or at a hundred degrees so basically just slightly behind you whereas I actually assumed that it would be either level or slightly in front just to get some separation between your rears your sides and your fronts so at the moment that is actually almost perfect in terms of your gapping between the three so in terms of objects panning from front to rear that actually works really well um, but the problem is obviously it doesn't really fit to Dolby spec and it would actually make life a lot easier for me if I was able to move that back now the one problem that does give me is obviously my Atmos speakers were set based on the seating based on these which is the bang smack middle of the room so I will need to see what I do about that plus I've already tidied up all the cabling down here and if I was to move that speaker then it would mean basically having a little bit of a little bit of a mess because I don't really want to be running the speaker cable past where that those sockets are so yeah I, I, I'll wait and see but that's that's why I had a little bit to finish up just around the radiator and any any of this that I'll have left over because I did order a few more packs um, I may just do around the screen and around the speakers but it, to be honest it's so intricate all, all of those areas that I may not even bother because obviously the sub has been rotated and dropped down there um, it now kicks massively um, when whenever you're playing anything and you don't even have to have this high um, I've not actually cranked this or anything so I've got it just uh, I did run a calibration not when the seating was like this mind you the seating was actually slightly further back and that one I believe was slightly further forward 
but I did run a calibration with it basically where my seating position is bang smack in the middle and that's that's where it's set I'm not turning the base up or anything is if anything it's actually turned down quite a bit and it just shakes shakes the whole seat in you feel it in your back you feel it through the actual seat in itself um, it kicks really really hard without actually being boomy anymore so be previously because it was kind of either stuffed into one corner whoever was sat here just got overloaded with it or whoever was in this particular corner you got a lot of boomy uh, boominess from from this particular corner we don't get that as much anymore well i've not actually noticed that at all anymore um it could just be because i'm sat slightly further forward but even when i've tested it further back in the room um i've been really impressed by how well all of this treatments actually worked bear in mind that it's not it's not like anything special these are just small poly uh, i believe they're polyester fiber boards and they're around about 90 mil or 100 mil thick so it's not not the thickest stuff but it's worked really really well and it's kind of had three three positive effects if you like so firstly it, it fixed the audio issue so it helped with the audio massively it's made a massive massive difference which you'll probably be able to tell just from uh the sound how it actually comes across in the videos uh in terms of my my voiceover um secondly it helped with the reflection from the screen or any ambient light hitting back onto the screen a lot as well and thirdly it's obviously it's insulated the room so the room's actually quite warm so you don't actually have to run the heating in here that much in order to actually get it to a really nice comfortable uh sort of temperature for whenever we're watching anything the projector and the marantz do actually produce a lot of heat for by themselves so that's why i wanted to actually separate them out as much as possible now in terms of cable management um with these three all i've done is i've not actually done that one yet at the moment but basically i'm just going to keep it with the sleeving um this potentially i could actually go further across yet as well let me just get some light but where it is um i, th I think is it's far enough now to where they're not actually clashing um i did contemplate moving the marantz down there but i was concerned by <laughs> this so as you can see all of the cables at the moment i've all i've done is i've just tied everything behind there um i have labeled everything so as you can see if i can try and get it to focus there you go so you can see each cable's got its own label and then i've sort of tied these together tied them into each other and then basically looped them all up together there as well so none of this is really pulling weight down on any of the banana plugs so that was the main thing i didn't want all the weight to be dangling down on it now I, i'm gonna leave those cables long for now because basically i'm not 100 percent set on whether this is staying here for now and obviously if i do move it then i need that extra length on the cables rather than have to run another another set i have been running them with the new apple tv you can see they're all dusty um, and there is the new remote I will more than likely have already posted the video on this so um, that will be linked in the cards in the top right as well um, sleeve on the actual Apple TV this actually helps quite a bit so if you are interested in those I'll have a link for that in the description below as well audio wise um, just massively massively impressed like the audio is so much better with this new setup that i can't even begin to describe it um you you hear details um a really good show is i think it's 18.99 on netflix and netflix are quite good for atmos content anyway they tend to crank the gain up quite high on most of the content that, that they actually produce but this show is just so good in terms of i didn't really notice it so much in the early episodes but in the later episodes the way that you uh they made use of the actual music um in all of the height channels it was just so so impressive panning from f the front sound stage to the sides or when you hear doors open you hear people approaching you hear creaking everything was just so pinpoint accurate um and that's that's the biggest thing that i've noticed since the upgrade is the fact that you don't have any any echoing um the acoustic treatment has pretty much killed off any sort of reflection that you get where it's sound that is muddying the audio everything is so so clear that 
no matter what volume you actually have it set to, you can hear the audio, you can hear the dialogue, and you can still have that earth-shaking bass whilst all that is going on. Um, that show obviously has a lot of sort of very loud moments in it, but you can still clearly hear what everybody's saying throughout that whole process. So yeah, just massively, massively impressed by the performance so far. Obviously, seating is still on the agenda. Um, I probably won't do anything with the seating now until next year um i don't think towards christmas time is the best time to order anything in the uk so seating was probably going to go on the back burner hence why i did actually raise this because i didn't want to be compromising uh so much in the meantime i do also have the option of actually rotating all of these back around so basically just have one one sofa there one across there and one across there and i can re revert back to that with this uh, current setup quite easily and obviously all of the sort of lighting underneath uh, would, would all the cabling and everything is still in place so I do have this little loop down here which if I need to obviously if I was to get uh, theatre seat in or cinema seat in then I can just tuck that away and hide it away similarly on the opposite side as well I will need to obviously find a new location for all of my YouTube gear but obviously that was always going to be the case because I, I left this stuff out for way too long and uh, come summertime I don't actually need any of this but winter time and especially in this room now obviously in order to light up products you do need need the better lighting screen wise uh no real changes in terms of screen location height anything like that i was hoping to actually drop the screen down a bit but in order to do that i think i will need to actually have a slightly lower media console um and that isn't something that I'm planning on doing right now just because this one works, everything fits, it gives me storage space for a lot of other crap in those two drawers as well um, and obviously we have the two shelves in the middle there as well so yeah it's not something that I'm going to do urgently but maybe somewhere down the line in order to get it to drop down. Um, the gapping, by the way, I think it was it was somewhere like only less than an inch between where the speakers could actually potentially either raise to or how far down you can actually lower the screen. So I think I did, actually did a test and the lowest I could get it to was basically where the border is for the screen itself. So it would literally go down probably less than an inch before this, the bottom of the screen would start to get cut off by the actual speakers themselves. I will have some videos upcoming on ultra short throws because we've had a lot of new ultra short throws come out since this, uh, since my, my model of this game out there, L9G. Um, and they all have their pros and cons. So I'm, I'm hoping to do a video on ultra short throw projectors and just give my thoughts and also my experience in terms of what you may be overlooking if you were to go for one of these particular systems as you can see i've i've had to make certain compromises but for the most part what i have here is a thx level reference level sort of setup as uh, a system audio wise as well as having the big screen and obviously not having to worry about people cutting off the beam just walking uh, around the actual projector itself um, you do actually literally have to get over the top of it in order to actually cut off the beam even when you're going towards the actual screen you can you can probably get down to like here before you actually start to to impact on the screen itself and nobody's going to be going there because obviously there's 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 items in the way here so yeah um, in terms of a setup and as far as home sort of theatre, home cinema setups go, this is probably the easiest. Um, it's probably one of the cheapest as well in terms of how you can actually go about it. Obviously, the speaker systems on, on my particular one did end up costing quite a bit, but that was just through the actual sponsor itself um, and obviously American Car Audio. So once again, the link for them will be in the description below as well. The American Audio Company is a unique UK-based hi-fi and home cinema store specializing in some amazing North American AV products with relationships with a wide range of both UK importers and US and Canadian manufacturers. They are in an amazing position to offer some truly amazing products to both end users and the trade please do check them out for all your AV needs. But yeah, this is the 
progress I've made so far. Um, not finished, uh, not by a long shot yet, but for the most part, most of the, the big stuff has been done um, and it's coming together quite nicely. We are enjoying it. We are making use of this almost on a daily basis now. And any opportunity I get to watch any type of content, especially the World Cup, we've been watching all, I've been watching all, any of the games that I'm interested in. I've been watching on, on the big screen. So yeah, it's really, really good for that. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for future updates. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And until the next one, thanks very much for watching.